today is Monday, Labor Day. And while for some people today might be all about lying in a hammock with a cold beer and having a barbecue, for me it is more like nesting. If you've ever been pregnant, you understand that in the ninth month your brain kind of goes crazy and you're all about nesting and preparing and preparing and preparing and cleaning something ten times even though it's clean. Yeah, that's kind of what today is for me. So today I'm going to the market, I'm going to Target, I have to make a run to Old Navy because my son needs a pair of socks, not a pair of socks, but a pack of socks. Thought he had enough, he doesn't. So I'm also be doing lesson plans today, I'm going to be doing some batch cooking today, so this way I will have some meals prepared in the refrigerator all week, so when I'm working late and having you know, impromptu meetings with parents who want to meet the teacher and I get stuck after school extra long. I still have to be able to come home and, you know, feed my children before they go off to their various practices and after school clubs. So, yeah, today really is all about getting ready and just getting it done. So I'm going to take you with me today and as I do some things here and there, I'll show you my lesson plan books in a little bit. And yeah, I gotta get busy. I got a lot to do. So one of the first things you'll see is on the kitchen table I have sort of taken over because I have a lovely office downstairs and yet I never use it. This is where I do the bulk of my lesson planning. Either right here at my kitchen table or in my bed on my little tray table at night while watching television. And then if we move over here to the kitchen, you will find my shopping list for today. And this list over here is everything I need to get at Target. This is Old Navy. I need to run the Michaels for two-sided tape and glue dots. And then finally, we are going to Kroger to stock up on foods for school lunches and for the meals I am planning on cooking this week. One quick strategy I want to share, whether you're a teacher or just a working mom in general, is to always make sure your machines are running. Yes, I'm about to dash out the door, but at the moment I've loaded my dishwasher and turned that sucker on. And if you follow me into my mudroom, you will hear that both my washing machine and my dryer are currently working and I love that strategy because I'm about to be gone for like two to three hours minimum and I like knowing that even while I'm gone an hour's worth of housework is still getting done and I don't even have to be here to do it and during the school year I've learned that if I just wash one load of laundry a day Monday through Friday it makes my weekends so much easier because nobody wants to work all week long and then come the weekend you can't go to the cider mill, you can't go to a baseball game, you can't do anything because you're too busy doing all your housework. So in the morning before I leave to go to work I will throw one load in the washing machine, one load in the dryer, turn on the dishwasher and then I go to work and then my son AJ, his chore is the minute he gets home from school because he's the first one home, he has to empty the dishwasher because I hate putting dinner out and now it's time to clean up from dinner and you've got a loaded washing machine full of clean dishes. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. So his chore is to empty it and every day after dinner I have an empty machine to reload the dishes. So yeah, that's a tip not just for teachers but for working moms. Get those machines working before you leave your house. Just left Old Navy, scored socks for my son, so he's all set for the school year. And even though I'm not supposed to be shopping for myself, I caved. They had the most adorable plaid shirts for sale. I know plaid's really on trend right now, but this one, it's like a red, white, and blue print, but it doesn't look anything at all like an American flag or a Union Jack flag. It was just too, too cute. So if you're trying to get something trendy but you don't want to spend a lot of money, you really need to go to Old Navy because they just have an amazing variety of adorable plaid shirts right now. And they've got them in like the oversized boyfriend size and then the one I bought was just the classic fitted size. So but yeah, oh, I'm going to be hauling that later this month. So I'm back in the car at the gas station filling my trunk, my not my trunk, my tank. And if you're wondering why I'm sitting in the car instead of by the nozzle, it is because it is really hot outside. It's like 90 plus degrees today with 90% humidity and it's been this way for well over a week in Michigan. I am so ready for fall. I'm ready for sweater weather. I'm ready for crisp autumn breezes and golden leaves and just to make this heat and humidity 
go away. <laughs> Bring on the fall. So ready for it. And this is one of the perks of having sons. Physical labor. Yep, on a hot day like today, they can haul all this stuff in. No. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you have to listen to the occasional smart aleck comment or two. Oh, no, go ahead. No, that's okay. Yeah. After you. I, I bought it all. You can lug it all in. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from running all of my errands and stocked up on a lot of fresh fruits, veggies, and things that are easy to pack in the school lunches, like bananas and grapes. And these, the boys love these yogurt tubes. I stick them in the freezer, turn them into frozen yogurt. And then sometimes if it's a good weather day, they'll still be frozen at lunch, but a lot of times they're just regular yogurt by lunchtime. Lunch meat, frozen foods, ground beef, uh, Annie's, choco vanilla bunnies, and just a lot of other things that we would need to have some good lunch food and make a few quick dinners. And like I said, I'm gonna make my lasagna today that's not actually for dinner today, it's gonna to be for dinner tomorrow and the next day. I'll have something else for dinner, but yeah, I'm gonna get back to work. And so just, once again, getting things done, getting ready for tomorrow. And luckily, my husband's great. He came home, saw that the machines were filled and he tossed in the next load of laundry and got the one in the dryer. And I'm about to have my son into the dishwasher and just keep things rolling. This is one of my favorite easy dinners to do. Once upon a time, making lasagna was a nightmare because you had to cook the sauce, boil the noodles. But ever since they made these things, making lasagna and as a make-ahead meal is so easy. And then also, how I was talking about Hello Fresh, that usually because we're a family of four, we get double boxes of all the produce. This pot of sauce, you know, granted it's my two jars of sauce, any sauce you want to use, but then there's fresh basil in here, a fresh onion in here, fresh garlic in here, fresh red bell pepper in here, and all of that was actually leftover ingredients from one of my HelloFresh boxes. So I didn't have to, you know, buy extra produce to make the sauce. So now I'm just going to layer sauce, noodles, uh, in the middle, I will get some a tub of ricotta cheese in there, more noodles, more sauce, more noodles, more sauce, and top the whole thing off with mozzarella. And then I bake this in the oven for about 25 minutes covered at 350, and about 10 minutes uncovered at 350 to get the cheese on top nice and golden. But yeah, this goes together really fast. So if you need an easy to make ahead meal, homemade lasagna, who knew? So right now I'm in my youngest son's room and today, even though today is all about getting ready for going back to school tomorrow, a lot of the things I'm doing today are just the routines that I do all school year long. And so one of my really favorite time-saving routines, especially in the morning and at nighttime, is to have the entire week's worth of clothing laid out for my boys in their closets. I purchased years ago from Amazon.com one of these hanging cubbies and it has little shelves as you can see it just hangs on the the bar in the closet and it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and well, there's a weekend cubby at the bottom and on the side there's even pockets for shoes although we really don't use that a lot. But what I like to do is on Sunday, when I'm organizing all the laundry, I literally will put their entire outfit, including socks, in the cubby. So shorts, shirt, socks, short shirt, so shirt, socks, that's a tongue twister. And this way, in the morning, when they're with the babysitter, or if I'm home for whatever reason and they've got to get ready for school, there is no debating over what they're going to wear today. It's in the cubby, grab the entire outfit, that's what you're wearing, you're not changing your mind. This is also really useful, I find, for the weeks when they have spirit week because on Monday they have to wear a superhero shirt or a sports theme shirt. On Tuesday they need to wear red and yellow because that's the school colors and on Wednesday is pajama day so they're going to wear a clean set of pajamas to school. So instead of forgetting because let's be honest my hand is shaking for some reason. Um, you know we all have a million things to do I'm not going to remember at 9 o'clock on a Tuesday night that tomorrow is pajama day and he wants to wear a special pair of pajamas to school. So 
on Sunday night I pack everything in there and then this way there you don't have to think about it again it's already done and not only do I do this for Casey but I have AJ do it in his own because he's now a teenager but still I want it packed because he can be slow teenagers Trying to get a teenager to move is like trying to move sloths. <laughs> they move at their own speed. So anything you can do to save time, make your life easier, eliminate forgetting, that's a big one for me because I have so many things going on that if I don't write it down or pre-plan, it's going to get forgotten. So all of these routines are in place to save the day <laughs> because I just I, I can't do it all all the time. So yeah, this is one of our weekly routines that happens all the time. Another thing I like to do on a Sunday is get other things ready. Like on Wednesday, Casey has swimming. So here's his swim set washed, his towel, his goggles. I'm gonna put this in the bag and then I'm gonna set it over here by his school bag. And on Wednesday, when we get home, all we gotta do is pick up the bag and go. And then in the top drawer over here are all of his clean baseball uniforms for you know on Tuesdays and Thursdays so organization 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 without it my whole world just falls apart it really does hi again it's actually much later in the day I actually meant to blog more of what I was doing today but honestly there was just so much work to do that it took a lot of time and I was thinking about things and I honestly forgot to pick up the camera and record some of it but I'm checking in now and real quick I'm going to show you the outfit I want to wear tomorrow. I love this dress. I really think it's cute and it's funny. I got this on a clearance rack for like, oh, I want to say like $22 and I like it because it has a little ruching in the middle here which is very flattering. And then I'm going to wear my brand new necklace that I just got from my Pop Sugar luxury box. I figured a little sparkle look very nice tomorrow and the kids always love it when you have something shiny <laughs> they'll always you can always count on students to comment on what you're wearing and yeah they they have opinions and they share them freely <laughs> sometimes that's not always a good thing so but checking back in I was able to get all of the things done for my children's school supplies, I had to write Casey na Casey's name on all of his supplies. Same for AJ. We got him in the backpacks. Everything is labeled and ready to go. And I've got their outfits done for tomorrow. Everything's laid out. It's very dark in here. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it, I've been working hard. And then over here, you will see... This is pretty much where the backpacks go all school year. So here's Casey's bag ready to go. And this is AJ's. Um, this is a temporary backpack for AJ. I didn't realize the one from last year was torn all the way down the side. He never told me that. So tomorrow's the first day of school and he doesn't have a good backpack. So we're using this one in a pinch. But then inside here, in Casey's bag, if I can find the zipper you will see, oh, this is very hard to do one-handed, all of his supplies are in there including a rain jacket because tomorrow is expected to pour the rain here. So we got everything in there, his name is written on everything. So that's all ready to go and we have some extra supplies that won't even fit in the backpack back there. And then over here against this wall you'll see this is where I keep my backpack and then I'm taking a big old pack of Kleenex to school tomorrow and then I bought this mop today because if you remember my room tour video the floor of my bathroom was disgusting and I like the fact that this has a scrubber on it so maybe I can finally get in the grooves of all that linoleum and maybe get that nice and clean so yeah I'll be taking that to work tomorrow because apparently Sometimes as a teacher you have to scrub your own bathroom floors. So there is all of my lesson plans, which I have not touched at all today. <laughs> at all. Because I've been way too busy doing tons of other stuff that I can't seem to get it all done, even though I've been working since the crack of dawn. And then one thing I want to show real quick over here are some things 
that will help to keep us organized. Because again, as I'm saying, this isn't just about getting ready for tomorrow, the first day of school. It's kind of about putting together our routines for the school year. So here is our morning routine taped to the wall. So this way, the babysitter who comes to take care of our boys in the morning will know exactly when to get everyone awake and fed and out the door. And then over here is something for AJ because AJ is going into high school this year and my husband and I were really want him to get off on the right foot because one thing with teenagers is one, they think they know everything and usually they kind of have no clue what they're talking about and so in middle school homework for a lot of his classes didn't count. It was optional or you were supposed to do it, you were supposed to turn it in but it wasn't actually graded so in a teenager's mind that means I don't have to do it and we are learning of high school, every homework assignment is graded, does count, and so I'm trying to pound a routine into AJ that you have to fill out your agenda, you have to bring your assignments home. I want to look at them before you turn them in the next day because AJ's smart, but he's fast and he, he'll do a sloppy job to just get it done because you know when you're a teenager it's all about being done, not necessarily done right. So yeah, this is the routine here for AJ. So after school he gets to come home, he gets to relax for a little while. Then he does the dishwasher, he picks up his brother, and then non-negotiable rules for homework. I, either myself or Bill, have to see the agenda. We want to see your assignments. I don't want to be told that you finished it in class and you left it in your locker. No, bring it home because then I or Bill are going to check the homework and see if it needs to be redone or if you did a good job or not because when you're a freshman, if you blow that first report card, you spend the rest of your school career trying to get that GPA back up. And then here's some rules for bedtime. The iPod and the PS3 remotes are given to us and work before play. So, you know, he gets a chance to come home and relax for a little while after school, have a snack, and, you know, watch a few minutes of TV, but then it's before you go on your video games, before you run off to a friend's house, before you do anything, homework first. That That is a rule. Once Bill and I get home from work, they sit down, they have their place where they're supposed to do their homework, and it gets done. Because, you know, is it just me? Because I'm mom of a soon-to-be freshman, but I'm worried. I'm so worried. Because middle school was rough. I thought middle school, when you go from elementary to middle school, it's such an adjustment. And sixth grade was really, really a tough time and now I'm feeling that anxiety for freshman year because I just wanted to do really, really good and I wanted to have fun. I do. I wanted to have fun, but I wanted to be successful. You know, success and fun. You can have both. And he's kind of giving me the evil eye right now. One last routine that we do every night on a school night is we kind of start the boys' school lunches. Casey's in elementary, so he still takes a lunch bag that has an ice pack holder in the top here to keep his food fresh. AJ, well, in one year he lost five lunch bags. So he doesn't get a lunch box anymore, but now that he's in high school, he really just wants a paper bag. So this way he can just throw that in the trash afterward and not have to worry about watching over a lunch bag and bringing it home every day. But we don't like to pack the whole lunch the night before because to me, there's nothing worse than a day old sandwich. So we'll get everything ready, but then tomorrow morning we'll put a nice cold uh, Horizon milk box in here, a freshly made sandwich, and um, like a frozen yogurt tube in here that will thaw all day and be fresh, be ready for lunchtime. So, and then we also throw in a couple of snacks because eight, Casey will have a couple of snack times throughout the day. So we make sure we have protein and fresh fruit and milk and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's just one more thing to make the morning a uh, rush a little easier. So I'm going to do my final check-in for the night because quite frankly it's been a long day and I'm ready to sit back and relax a little bit, get a little bit of downtime before I have to go to bed for work tomorrow. And because 
tomorrow's back to school day, I decided to make my boy's favorite dinner tonight, which is tacos. My boys absolutely love tacos. The problem is I never can make enough, because no matter how much I cook, they will eat it because they are growing boys. So that's all for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope some of my routines are helpful for you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me in the future, click the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you later.